Hi everyone, welcome to Student Tech Genius. In this video, we are going to see the CPU OS simulator for the round robin scheduler algorithm. And this is the code we have. And uh, we need to create three process P1, P2, and P3 with the arrival time of 0, 1, and 2. Uh, we have three time slices, which is uh, 15 second, 20 second, and 25 second. We need to calculate the average waiting time for uh, each slice, uh, each time slice. So this is the uh, CPU OS simulator. We will go to compiler. We will load the program. And here in the compile, we will click on compile button. So the program will be compiled. After that, I will change the base address and save the program. After that, I will load the program into memory. I will uh, open the OS simulator. In the OS simulator, I need to create three process P1, P2, and P3. So this is P1 with arrival delay of zero yeah, uh, or arrival time of zero. So create new process, so there will be no delay. So I, am, I will directly create P1. After that, I need to create P2 with the arrival delay of one, P2 with arrival delay of one, and P3 with arrival delay of two. P1, P2, P3 are created with the arrival delay of zero, one, and two. After that, I need to uh, choose the round robin scheduling algorithm. So I will click on round robin. I need to choose the time slice of 15 seconds. So here I will choose the seconds and in that I will choose the 15 and I need to start the process. So I will click on start. So we can view the logs now. So in the logs, we can see that this is round robin with 15 seconds. First P1 is uh, initiated. After that P2 is initiated and after that P3 is initiated. We can see the uh, values 0 0.06 seconds, 6.28 seconds and 11.53 seconds. And this is the average process waiting time 5.95 seconds, which we need. After that, we can use the 20 second time slice uh, with uh, the same P1, P2, P3. So I will uh, create those. So P1, P2, P3 are created and I will start the process. You can view logs for this. So new scheduler started with 20 second time slice. This is the states for P1. These are the states for P2 and these are the states for P3. And this is the average process waiting time. Similarly, we can do for the 25 second time slice. So this is for the 25 second time slice. view logs for this one as well so for this one new scheduler started for 25 second time slice this is the states for p1 this is the states for p2 and this is the states for p3 and this is the average process waiting time so this is the round robin scheduling algorithm in the cpu os simulator thank you